Hello all. Today let us talk about histogram equalization in images. In the previous class we have discussed how to plot the histogram. Let's be specific in with equalization this class. What do you mean by histogram equalization? It's nothing but making the histogram uniform. So equalization is a process that attempts to spread out the gray levels in an image so that they are evenly distributed across their range. So actually it reassigns the brightness value of the pixels. Okay? Which means that when we plot the histogram, we will try to ensure that it is as flat as possible. Let us see how it is being done. The algorithm for histogram equalization. The reference material for this book is Anil K. Jain book and Gonzalez reference book. So, let us take a U be the original image and V dot to be the uniform quantized image. By representing it, you, you will apply quantization and you will get it. Actually, what does that mean? We will see detailly in the next slide. So, actually you have to find the running sum of the histogram. I mean the cumulative sum. Next, try to normalize the values by dividing it by the total number of pixels. And then multiply the values by the maximum gray level and then you try to round it off. So finally you try to map the gray level values to the results from the step 3 by using one to one correspondence. So by this you will be able to see that initially the original image has an arbitrary PDF in this fashion. So after it is being equalized you can see that. It is well distributed in a uniform way with 0 to L minus 1 and 1 by 1 L minus 1 as a peak. Let us understand this with a problem. Let us perform a histogram equalization for the image. So, the image is given here as a, a 5 cross 5 matrix. It is 4, 4, 4, 4 with the values the 3, 4, 5, 4, 3 goes on till 4. So, first let us try to find the maximum value in the given image. So, it is 5 and let us, so once it is maximum value, let us try to figure out what should be the number of bits they have used. So, the number of bits required is uh, 3 which means 2 power 3 is 8. So, uh, it should have been been as 0 to 7 but here the pixel values like 4, 3 and 5 being the majority. So, we do not have those values. Let us try to represent in a table form so that it will be easy for us to analysis. So, the gray level let us assign from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Let us count from the previous image and just say count how many number of zeros are there, how many number of 1s are there, similarly how many number of 4 and how many number of 7. Just count the occurrences of the gray pixels and make it as a table. First step, let us try to find out the cumulative frequency distribution. That is nothing but the running sum of the histogram values. So, the cumulative frequency is 0 here, again 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, and here you have 6, 0 plus 6 is 6. So, 6 plus 14 becomes 20, 20 plus 5 becomes 25, 25 plus 0, 25, 25 plus 0, 25. So, the your step 1 is going to, you are going to find out the cumulative frequency. So, after finding that, you try to divide it, all the cumulative frequency terms by the total number of the pixels. Here the total number of pixel value is 25. So, try to divide all the terms, all the cumulative frequencies by 25. 0 by 25, by 25, 0 by 25, 6 by 25, 20 by 25, goes on till 25 by 25. This is going to be the next step. Finally, try to multiply the result what we have applied in the previous step by the maximum gray value that is 7 for this problem. So, we are going to multiply this term by 7, this term by 7. So, similarly continue multiplying the previous value with 7. Coming to the next step, try to round it off to the closest integer. 0 into 7 is 0, 0 into 7 is 0, 0 into 7 is 0, 0 round off value. You get something 1.6 so round off 2 and here again round it off to 6, 7 and 7. So, the next step I am trying to find one to one correspondence mapping that is 
here the original gray values of the original image is given as 0 to 7 that's what the original gray value and after applying the histogram equalization i can find that the values or um, uh, the range of 0 0 0 2 the one corresponding to 3 is 2 4 corresponding is 6 7 and 7 and 7 that's what we have obtained from the previous table So, I can just replace that with the in the image intensity value. Initially, it was 4, 4, 4, 4, 6. So, wherever I have 4, it was made as 6 from the above 1 to 1 correspondence table. Similarly, try to change all the values using the above 1 to 1 correspondence values. And you can find that the values are uh, mapped with uh, 4 with mapped with 6 and 5 mapped, mapped accordingly it's being mapped. Yes. So now ultimately we can conclude that the histogram equalization makes it very much possible to see the minor variations within the regions. You can see the minor variations in the regions that appeared nearly uniform in the original image. It was actually uniform in the earlier image but now we are making it uh, to see very sharp changes and minor uh, variations too. So, and if you want to check that, you can even draw the histogram for the above, um, uh, original and the histogram equalized images and you can understand that uh, very well about this particular statement. Yes, thank you students. The tomorrow's class we will talk about histogram specification. Thank you.